Before we even get to heaven, I want to offer up a couple of alternate titles for the whole show. We could have called this show, How Hard You Have to Try to Get Into Hell. And you'll see what we're talking about there. But this is basically the message is there is a lot of gravity, of spiritual gravity, if you will, trying to pull us into heaven. We really have to make an effort to, to push that away and get to hell. So that's the other title this could have had. The, the third would have been you can't, just, <clears throat> you can't Just Walk In. Even though there's all this force pulling in, it's not like heaven is not just a place. Swedenborg... So Emanuel Swedenborg recorded his spiritual experiences, and he said that a lot of the times when he was able to travel, you know, what we would now call maybe astral projection or out-of-body experience, he was able to travel, see people in the next life. And often when people are moving from this world to that world, they would say, where's heaven? I want you to walk me into heaven. Uh, But heaven is not that simple. It's not just like there's a gate and a fence around an area, or there's not just a place on a map. Now I've stepped over it, I feel, oh, I'm in heaven, this is great. Heaven is, as you've probably heard, within. And we're going to take a look at what that means. Heaven and Hell, Swedenborg's book, Heaven and Hell, number 54. It can never be said that heaven is outside anyone. It is within, because every angel accepts the heaven that is outside in keeping with the heaven that is within. We can see then how mistaken people are who think that getting into heaven is simply a matter of being taken up among the angels, regardless of the quality of their inner life, who believe that heaven is granted merely because of the Lord's mercy. On the contrary, unless heaven is within an individual, nothing of the heaven that is outside flows in and ex- is accepted. There is an outside heaven, as Swedenborg described. It is a place you can go there, you can see beautiful things, all the descriptions you've ever heard, but, but more and better. But that external reality, as things are in the spiritual world that Swedenborg described, is a reflection of the internal reality. What is going on? What kind of thoughts and feelings do people have? The people that live in heaven. And what what do they care about? How do they treat each other? And that that is the essence of heaven and the happiness that comes from heaven is this the mindset, the mindset of heaven. And we can't just have a mindset. You got to build it in yourself. You got to cultivate it. So let's look further. Heaven and hell number 408. This is Swedenborg describing, again, experiences in the spiritual world. I talked with some spirits who thought that heaven and heavenly joy consisted of being important, but I told them that in heaven the greatest is the one who is least. I went on to say that heaven did not consist of wanting to be be least in order to be greatest. People who do this pant and long for greatness. Rather, it means a heartfelt wishing better for others than oneself and serving others for the sake of their happiness with no thought of reward, simply out of love. So that's the definition. That, la- that is what heaven is. You think, you can think, some people might think, oh, heaven is a, is a you, you die and then you can go to heaven and there everything is happy. Heaven is a state of mind that is reflected in the spiritual world, but it's essentially that. Uh, and you, you get people who think heaven is getting anything you want. You know, so it, heaven would be like being really rich and powerful in this world. But Swedenborg is saying, that's not the joy of heaven. That, that joy doesn't last. It can't make a heaven because people can't work together with that joy. Um, we have spent some time on this channel, off the Left Eye channel, illustrating or, you know, illuminating Swedenborg's illustrations, illustrating Swedenborg's illustrations of heaven. And we did a couple videos on it. One is, this is a clip we're going to play for you to get, we're, we're talking a little more about what heaven is, because the more we can get our minds around that, the more the journey we're taking makes sense. So this is a little clip where it's me, again, reading Swedenborg's description of heavenly joy in the mindset of heaven. So this is a little more on what that heaven is. We may gather the magnitude of heaven's pleasure simply from the fact that for everyone there it is delightful to share their happiness and bliss with someone else. And since everyone in the heavens is like this, we can see how immense heaven's happiness is. For there is in heaven a sharing by everyone with each individual, and by each individual with everyone. So, there's a little bit more of what heaven is. It's it's how people relate to each other. He's not in the in there describing it all. Heaven has these really great looking mountains and everyone lives in an expensive house. 